unfortunately it's something that's a bit scary when you know that she can die from something. Um, so just something that I've learned to be careful of, really. I've known people who've had nut allergies, but they weren't ever very severe. And so living with someone who has a really severe allergy, it was quite insightful to find out how much it can really affect your life and how careful you have to be about what you eat, what you buy. I was really worried that people wouldn't understand the severity of it and that it might stop me from joining in with classically student things. Um, and I was also quite worried about not having anyone around to look after me. But the worrying about it beforehand was so much worse than the real thing. Um, it didn't affect um, the friendships I made or the way that people um, treated me. Um, and in a way, I, I just tried not to let it define me. Um, I mentioned it to people, but I didn't let it become my identity. I love being at uni. Um, it's such a great place to make friends. I've made some of the best friends of my life here. Um, and there's so many different things that you can get stuck into. I've written for my university newspaper, um, I've been involved with, with ethical projects and, and volunteering um, and a bit of sport here and there. When you have an allergy you have to get used to people asking questions about it all the time and it's always the same questions. It can be a bit of a, a bit of a hassle but you just you have to overcome that embarrassment. I carry two EpiPens with me wherever I go in case one of them doesn't work and I also take with me a packet of antihistamine pills for minor reactions. When I go on nights out I just take out the EpiPens from the medical kit bag and I put them into my handbag. Um, it does limit the size of handbag that I can buy, but it's not a big deal. And I would never want to go anywhere without my EpiPens because I don't think it's worth the risk. Cooking for yourself is obviously the main challenge at university. Um, you, you can't guarantee that other people aren't gonna be cooking with nuts and you need some way of keeping your food and utensils separate. Um, in my first year, I had a mini fridge in my room, which I kept all my um, uh, refrigerated products in. The other thing is that if people make food for you, um, you have to ask them about every single ingredient and sometimes you feel a bit bad because they try to do something nice for you and just and get used to being confident and, and asking really direct questions about you know, whether they keep nuts segregated and, and checking that they understand the severity of your allergy. There are three of us that cook together um, and we cook about two nights a week each and then a uh, the person who's cooked doesn't do the washing up. I found the transition to cooking for myself quite difficult because um, my mum had always checked all the labels for me and you have to get into the habit of ch checking absolutely everything. Um, but you soon get used to it and once you've found an ingredient um, or a product that you know is right for you, it, it gets easier. Luckily, because my housemates have agreed to give up hazelnuts, we can share all our utensils um, and do all our washing up together and it's fine. I think my friends found it relatively easy to adapt to my, to my nut allergy, yeah. Well, at first I was a bit worried about it and I, it is a little, a little bit scary that you kind of have to, you know, be aware of what you're buying and what you're doing and things. And there has been times where it's been a bit close where we've had like hazelnut chocolates in the house before and we didn't realise it was just quality streets. Yeah, I've taught all my housemates how to use my pen, so hopefully if I had an allergic reaction, an anaphylactic reaction, they'd be able to administer the pen for me if I couldn't do it myself. And even the thought of having to do it makes me nervous, but I think I'd be confident doing it if it, if it came to it. As long as you're kind of aware of your allergy and aware of things that you need to take into account, it's definitely something that's copable. Um, you can always come to university. I mean, Helen's lived in halls and stuff, and she's lived in a house, and it's just making your friends aware, making the right people around you aware of your not allergy. I would like to travel in the future and I definitely don't want my allergy to stop me from doing that. Um, I think it's just really important to think carefully before you go abroad about how you're going to manage your allergy while you're there and maybe even plan what you would do also if you had an allergic reaction. If you're thinking of going to university or college or moving out for the first time and you have an allergy, go for it. Um, it's the best decision that I ever made and it will be scary inevitably but it's so worth it. Um, don't let your allergy hold you back.